Hey, what is going on guys? In this video, I will be showing you how to turn your AMD FX 8320 into an AMD FX 8350 by simply overclocking. Now, the 8320 is in fact just an underclocked 8350 with a lower price. That is pretty much the main reason I got the 8320, because I could afford a better graphics card. Before you start, there are two things you want to have a look at, and that is your cooling and your motherboard. Your motherboard needs to be able to handle the overclocking and your cooling must be good enough. If you are running the stock cooler, you, you should be fine as it is the same cooler used on the A350, but I recommend stress testing your processor to make sure the stock speed just doesn't make your processor running too hot. And um, yeah, if you know your motherboard and cooler is capable of overclocking, you can start off by going into the BIOS by hitting delete when starting your computer. The motherboard I'll be using, as it says here, is the Asus M5A990FX Pro Revision 2.0 and I'm currently using the aftermarket cooler named Arctic Freezer Pro 7 uh, Revision 2.0 there as well. Now to get to the CPU multiplier, I have to hit F7 to get into the advanced settings. So let's do that. Once you're into the advanced settings, you want to look for the AI tweaker options and you want to find the CPU ratio and the AMD Turbo Core technology settings. The CPU ratio should be at 17.5 if you have an 8320 and the Turbo Core technology should be at auto. Now what you want to do to overclock is just very very simply turn the CPU ratio up to 20 which is 8350 speeds. Then what you want to do is to go to the AMD Turbo Core technology and turn into disabled and once you've done that you can just simply save and reboot into Windows. The first things we're going to have to do is just to make sure the processor is running at the speed we want, under the temperatures we want and at the stability we want. There are three programs I suggest you get CPU-Z, Hardware Monitor and Prime95. CPU-Z is a good program to monitor your CPU speed and volts, H3 Monitor is for checking your temps and Prime95 for stability and stress testing. All will be linked down in the description. Now, I won't stress it right now as I know mine is stable, I have already tested before, but right now I'll just show you a quick benchmark to show the performance gain you get with this at over the stock speeds. I will be using Cinemesh Release 11, and uh, I know the 8320 usually gets around 6 points at the stock speeds. So, well, I'll just leave it right here. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and uh, thanks for watching.